Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, everyone. So, I actually decided to just finish up with all these freaking troubles at the moment. Just because, um, if I save too many for later, it's gonna get overwhelming for later, and I don't want that to happen, unfortunately. So, I'll do them now. This will be like Trouble Center 2 in parentheses or something. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, so this first one is actually about going into the Pit of 100 Trials, which, I mean, it's only floor 18, so it's not that bad, honestly. But... I mean, I guess through time, you know, it could be a pretty overwhelming. What am I doing? That's the wrong way. I mean, because what I'm actually thinking of doing is just making it all the way to floor 50. Instead of just floor 18, you know? Because I know I can easily do it. Floor 50 is not that bad. It's quite simple to make it there. But then again, I mean, is it really worth it? I don't know. <sighs> we'll see. Um, why am I being so stupid? It's this way, man. It's this way, damn it. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and make it. Oh my god, I better make that shit. Because, I mean, Pine T, or Pine T Jr., whatever, I don't know, he's in floor 18. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So yeah, the Pit of Wonder Trials is rather interesting. I mean, there are a hundred floors, as you can clearly see by the damn name. But every ten floors is like a little checkpoint. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and jump on this guy. For this first battle, we'll have Gloombas. Which, I actually don't want to kill yet, because I want to tattle him. Let's tattle. Also, remember that I have Spike Shield on. Okay, so... As you can see, pretty basic stuff. I mean, yes, 7 HP, yeah, whatever, but his attack is pretty pathetic. Also, they give no experience by this point in the game still. That's crazy. Wait, do I have Spike Shield? Yeah, I do. See, I do have it on. That's what I thought. Alrighty. That's all I get one free star point. Now, what I'm going to be doing is probably... Cutting. Because... Ugh, the floors are just so freaking pathetically simple, you know? They really are. I mean, it also depends if I see new enemies, but I don't think I will. Yeah, see, all the enemies are just Gloombas and Spinias, and I... Like, there's no point in showing that, because I don't even get any star points. Like, I don't know what the hell I should do here. I'm conflicted. So that one there was a Dull Bones and another Gloomba. I guess I'll just go ahead and say what the enemies are on the floors, but again, there's no point in showing them. Fuzzy! Ooh, cool. That one was five Fuzzies. I just used one Power Shell and killed them. Yeah, I'm actually using Coops right now, because the enemies are so weak in HP, so Power Shell actually saves that peak compared to, like, Fiery Jinx or something, you know? So yeah, one of the few times where I'm using Coops, wow. That right there was a Gloomba and a Dull Bones. So it's actually a very similar encounter than the one two floors ago. Ooh, Spinia. Okay, Spinia and Gloomba. Again, same enemies. At least until we get to the next set of floors, you know? What the heck? And that was a Spania and the Gloomba. A mushroom. Okay, cool. What the hell was that coin so far away, man? Okay, so which floor am I at now? Like nine or something? Okay, four dull bones. Power still takes them out quite easily. I'm at five, five, six coins. I was at five, five, five actually there for a little bit. And here we go, the first checkpoint. So every 10, you get a nice badge, Sleepy Stomp, you also get this thing to make the next pipe appear, and you can also go back and, you know, to the entrance. If you go back, no, you don't start on like floor 10 your next time back, you start over from floor 1, which sucks, I know, but that's how it works. Oh, thank god, well, this guy's actually going to be pretty useful. Um, if you pay this guy coins, he'll actually take you down a number of levels, so I'm going to make him go down 5 levels, yeah. So I'm going to be at, what, like, maybe floor 16 or something? Probably. It's a shortcut back for sure. Okay. Oh, look at that. So I'm not I'm not actually gonna hit this guy because I want him to be in a Paragoomba state. And I'll show this battle because it's a new enemy. Okay. Because I don't want to kill him and make him lose the wings. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Two fighters. 
Alright, Tattle and Goombella. Her Goomba, that's what attack is three, yeah, whatever. Not that crazy. And as always, no star points. Alright, so these guys can go down by, you know, a set of jumps each. Perfectly fine. Just kill them like this. And quite simple. Alrighty, so I'm in floor... Am I in 16? I think I'm in 16 because I was at 11, so then I went down 5 more. I should be at 11 now. I should be. I mean, I mean, sorry, 11 plus 5, 16. Yeah, 16. So now 17. We'll be down here. Oh, what the heck? Um, no, I can't actually take your shortcut, dude, because I have to, uh, <laughs> get, get the guy. He's in floor 18. So it's gonna be right here. Yep, there he is. Okay, I gotta kill this guy, though. Okay, so that was a Pokey, which we've already seen in Glitzville, and also a Dark Puff from Boggly Woods. What the? <laughs> I'm all scared. Alrighty, wait, are you coming with me? Let's go. Okay, let's go. So now this is floor 19. Okay, last battle. Okay, taken care of. Dark Puff and Paragloomba. And this here takes us to floor number 20. Another chance, what could it be? What could it be? Yep, there's the exit. He's leaving. Alright. Fire dry. Cool. Alright, let's go back up now. I mean, back down, sorry. That's what I meant. Because I'm actually going to go up toward... Oh shit, dude. Yeah, because... Oh, God, I'm not even talking. Because I'm actually going to go to floor 50. And I think it's very possible to do it. But again, I'm just going to be cutting if I just see battles or enemies that we've already seen plenty of times before. As far as healing, I don't have too many great items, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at something. What? Shoot, okay, looks like I have a spike thing. So, that's attacky, sure. Uh, you can go ahead and tattle this guy, the spiky Gloomba. HP is 7, attack is 4. Okay, cool. Now, even the spike Gloombas don't actually give me anything yet. Guarded. Nice. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and kill you. Alrighty, and... Sure, kill this guy. Because, um, I, I guess his attack is hard to guard, really. And nothing. Alright, easy battle, but again, no star points, damn it. I'm not going to be able to level up here, so I'm actually going to be kind of in some trouble. I mean, I do have Sweet Treat, of course, and I have a couple of items. A couple Super Shrooms, I guess, or actually maybe just one. So, we'll see. I don't know. But from this point on, I can easily take the shortcut if I see that guy again. Okay, Bandit.
So that battle was more booze and bombs. Really nothing special. Okay, am I floor dirty yet, please? I better be. Yes! Oh yeah, this guy. You can also buy stuff from this guy. But he sells them at such ridiculous prices sometimes. I mean, it's actually... I kind of want to buy a Thunder Rage just for... You know what? Actually, no, I'm not going to do it now. It's not worth it. Okay, a treasure. Zap Tap. It's actually a very good badge. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going now to floor 40. Okay, who's the new enemy here? Oh, shoot. Dark Koopas, huh? I believe these have like 8 HP or something. That's not gonna be- nope, not enough to kill him. Okay. Now let's go ahead and tell the Dark Koopa then. And there's some new enemies back there too. You see those? Okay, so 8 and 4. Oh, yeah. Okay, these guys. The Parabuzzies. Alright, at least we flipped over though, so they're not gonna attack me. Again, it's important to just reduce as much damage as possible. Let's go ahead and tell you now. Parabuzzy, which can be found in Pirate's Grotto Chapter 5, so we're actually, you know, fighting these beforehand. Okay, so now they're both gonna flip. That's fine, I'm gonna take damage, but whatever. But yeah, that defense, man, for those freaking Buzzy Beetles, it's pretty ridiculous. It's like, what, four or five? It's a lot. It's for sure a lot of defense. Aw, oh, damn it, that would have been helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and... Actually, no. It's best to be you. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter either way, I could have killed it. Because Goombella does six damage. Three, three. Okay, so that's done. That's the first battle, so that's floor number... 31. Give it, give it! Oh, jeez, I can't miss those, man. I can't afford to be missing that shit. Oh, man. Alright, what the hell? Alright, so with that I obtained a level up. Perfect timing because I was kind of low on HP, but I got it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and improve my DP once again up to 24 DP now. Wow. That's crazy. Man. I'm only at 15 FP still. That's ridiculous. Ooh, a lot of hearts that I don't need because I just level up actually. Okay, so as far as badges go, what I'm pretty much going to do is take out these two because I have Jumpman on. But I'm also going to go ahead and put this Power Plus badge on. That's two Power Plus for me, one Power Plus partner. I have Spike Shield. Okay, nice. I'm really good in damage now. Really good damage output. So that was a uh, Parabuzzy and a Flower Fuzzy. Down to floor, like what? 30? I don't even know. I, don't, I freaking lost count. That right there was four Shady Koopas. Not difficult if you don't leave them flipped over. Again, like I keep saying, make sure not to do that. 
<laughs> All right, there we go. Floor number 40. So this nuts us. What is it? Pity flower, I think? Yep, pity flower. The Mario takes damage occasionally with her 1 FB. Not that great. Okay, floor 40. Moving on to floor 50. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Okay, what I'm gonna do is not... Oh, shit. I don't want that to happen. God damn it. And there was another one. See, I mean, I wish I could have known that. Okay, go ahead and tattle. This freaking dark whatever. The Paratroopa. Okay, so four to... Yeah, pretty much same stats as you already know. Okay. Oh man, now those guys in the back. Oh, they're gonna get ridiculous. Now, if you don't have Spike Shield, those Spike Parabuzzies are so hard to kill. They're immune to fire, they're immune to explosions. You can't jump on them, you can't hammer them because they're in the air. There's like not much you can do. And on top of that, if you attack them with a the move like, let's say, uh, Flurry, you know? Body Slam, it's not gonna do too much damage because they have so much defense. I mean, actually, it won't even do one damage, probably. That's how ridiculous it is. But see, with Spike Shield, it instantly becomes quite simple, actually. Or Shine Sprite, I can get a Shine Sprite, and... Nope, nothing. Alrighty, there we go. Ten easy star points for me. But not easy, because I took kind of a lot of damage there. Alright, so this is, uh, it's only floor 41, which means I'll be there soon. Somewhat soon. The next freaking floor. Oh god, these bobbums, man. I mean, at least we're fighting all these enemies now. That way we don't have to, like, show so many battles in Chapter 5 once we fight all these, because there's a lot that are from that chapter. In chapter 5, like these guys. The Parabuzzies are also some, you know, and then there's like... We haven't fought Embers yet, but I think we will in a bit. Okay, so these are Bulky Bob on 6 HP, attack is 2. They don't actually attack until like 4 turns. But by that point, they're dead. So, whatever. No, I don't think I can kill them now, I can't. Might as well just defend. Oh shoot, I should have attacked them, damn it. I forgot they can do that. See now, oh man, god damn it. I should have attacked. That was me being stupid, now I can't even do any damage to him. Uh oh. There we go, I had to do that because um, he was about to explode on my face. So this gives me five star points each, wow, that's crazy. Okay. Well, there we go. Hey, my freaking hearts. So that's two floors down in the 40s. Ember, another new enemy. Okay, now these... Shoot! I thought I whacked you, man. Okay, these are gonna be kinda hard because I don't have ice power yet. Actually, I think it's best to just go ahead and try an art attack or something. 6 HP attack is 4. But I don't have ice power, so I can't actually jump on them, which means the best way to kill them would probably be an art attack. I mean, I could try Earth Tremor, but what if I fail? I'm probably gonna fail. And I mean, in the future, I'm probably gonna have to use uh, either Yoshi's Gulp or Koops. I can already kill them. <laughs> Just being stupid now. Okay, whatever, that's fine. And they're dead. That's another 12 star points, so now I'm up to, I mean, see, you can level up so fast in here. In the Pit of Winter Trust, at least in the future floors, not the beginning ones, because they give you, like, nothing. You get one star point per battle. But eventually, you can get a lot. A lot of freaking star points. Okay, some new enemies once again. Why didn't I jump on it, man? I should've. Okay, that's a life shroom. Oh jeez. Um, what I'm gonna do is kill this guy. Yeah, because that one has a life shroom, it's gonna revive. So I'm not even gonna go for it now. Okay, eight four. Yeah, whatever. Poison pokey. So these are from chapter six, actually. Oh wait, he used it actually. What a dumbass. Okay. Oh, 
Well, I mean, the thing is, Gumbella can't even get a turn, though. If I... No, I'm just attacking this guy, then. That way, Gumbella can go for the kill every turn on these guys. Oh yeah, I should be getting star power. Oh shoot, I'm poisoned. Yeah, I should be going for stylish, I forgot. Alright, let's go, let's do stylish. There we go. And then you. Shoot. I missed the stylish. Damn it. God damn you. Oh no, I'm taking too much damage, shoot. Keep doing stylish, because it's going to be getting me a lot of star power. I mean, at least I got so many star points there. That's good. Okay. I mean, I'm finding so many new enemies that I can't even do a cut in any freaking battle. Because I'm up there in time. I'm going to be up there in time in just a bit. Okay, another freaking this guy. Okay, so that's a level up perfect timing too, by the way. Because, man, I took a lot of damage there. Those freaking embers, because I don't have ice power yet, so I can't do anything to hit them at the moment. It sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and improve our... Did I go with BP again? I think I will. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm like addicted to this damage output, but man, like it's... There's a good reason why, you know? There is. Okay, I mean, the only thing is that at the moment, I don't really think I can do much with only... You know... I guess, what's four extra BP? Um... I have Jumpman as well, Spike Shield. I mean, I could do Zap Tap. No, actually, it's best to go ahead and do uh, both damage dodges. For now. Eventually, though, I'll go ahead and put another Power Plus badge. Okay, one of these guys. Oh, shit. Damn it, I couldn't jump in time. Okay, and there we go, the last battle for now. So it's actually good that I made it to floor 50, I mean, not only for the strange sack that I haven't mentioned before, actually, but also because in a future trip when I go ahead and do the Pet of 100 Trials, um, I'm gonna be starting in floor 50 on screen, just to save all of you some time. So yeah, the strange sack is a unique item that lets you carry up to 20 items, not 10. So let's go ahead and go back up now. Yeah, let's also talk to Pine T, you know, now they're gonna be up here. There they are. And the trouble is solved. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I get, um, what do I get as a reward? Silver card. Let you play paper mode. Nice. Okay. So yeah, that was a, uh, crazy episode. I think it's closer to, like, 30 minutes, but at least I did. I made it to floor 50, so in the future, like, post-game, when I do the Pit 100 Trials, I'm not gonna start from floor, uh, you know, 1, but instead from floor 50. So... If you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.